Hi, my name is J.B. Harvey, and I'm 10 years old. Um, so, J.B., you have Duchenne, right? Yeah. J.B., what's one of the harder things about having Duchenne? Like, I can't play like the other kids. What's one of the best things about having Duchenne? I get to go skiing every weekend. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is what we call a neuromuscular disease. And really, to oversimplify it, patients that have Duchenne are typically primarily boys um, because of the way that Duchenne happens. It's an X-linked disease. So it's primarily boys that have Duchenne and they don't produce functional dystrophin. And one of the analogies is if you think about a trampoline, you have that taut black piece of a trampoline and that's the muscle and the spring is the dystrophin. If those springs are loose or bent or not there, the muscle doesn't work as well. So you go down and take a blood test, um, myself and my son, and um, you have to wait a month, which is a very torturous month, to get the call to confirm what the diagnosis was. And we did get the diagnosis that um, it was Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Um, so that was how we got diagnosed with my son, who's 11, and my younger son, who was four at the time. They suggested to get a test as well. To um, It was about 50-50 chance that a sibling um, runs in boys, a sibling would have it. Um, so he did his blood test and that confirmed that he also had Duchenne. As, as the parents and the family, um, you know, it, it affects all of us. Um, you know, it affects what we can do, you know, places that we can go. We have to think about, you know, how logistically can we do that, day-to-day -day things, getting the boys to and from school, um, you know, going to the store. Instead of going to two stores, we go to one store because boys don't have the strength to walk around two stores. Science doesn't run from nine to five. There are a lot of scientists here that are doing experiments that cause them to have to be here all night long. And they do that because of the passion that's ignited by the people we meet. Understanding the needs of the patients is so important, even, even thinking about our science. So it actually helps us to move forward very quickly and aggressively. And, and to and never, never sleep. You know, we really want to make sure that this happens. You know, one of the things that JB Keys does is to raise money for special programs and adaptive technologies for the children with Duchenne, and that's really important, and supporting that often just comes through fundraising. You know, until we get to that point where there's more treatments that are going to help more of the boys, um, you, know, you know, a lot of what we can do is, is give the boys the best quality of life that we can. You still have to live your life every day. Um, and these boys are still boys and they want to do stuff and experience stuff. Um, so JB Keys was great with the skiing that you know normally we would never be able to ski. Um, and that gave the boys an opportunity to ski and it's accessible for them. You don't have to worry. You know, we've gone twice and it's been incredible and the boys just, I mean they're just glowing. Now you can see their smile coming down the mountain, like every time they're coming down. They just absolutely love it. You remember when you first went, you tried the downhill skiing? Yeah. And then this year, because your legs were not as strong, you tried the bi ski? Yeah. What did you like better? The bi ski. Why? Because it goes faster. The wind blows in your face and like when you turn, the snow comes up on your face. JB Skis does so many great things. Um, you know, the, the skiing program, um, the sailing that we do, the research that they fund. Many families from this area in New England have been traveling very far for their clinical care, um, particularly going to Cincinnati Children's. For the Duchenne community at large, one thing that's critically important is that improvement of Duchenne care happen. That's something that organizations like JB's Keys have been really helping to move forward. The doctor that we're seeing in Cincinnati Children's Hospital um, has now announced that she's going to be moving to um, UMass Medical in Worcester, which is right here where we live in Massachusetts. So literally it's about like half an hour from our house as opposed to flying to Cincinnati. So that was the most incredible news. Having a community is, is very important. You know, I don't know, I don't know if we'd be able to get through this if we were on our own. Um, you know, for, I know for myself, um, you know, and I could probably speak for my wife and even the boys, that having other families to go through this with. It makes it 
not easy to get through, but easier. My hope for JV's Keys to DMD is that we no longer have to be in existence in the next five to 10 years. My hope is that there'll be a cure for Duchenne muscular dystrophy and that these boys will live a long and healthy life without us fighting anymore. Until that day, we need to make sure that even though there's a fight and a battle within those days, that we make them enjoyable and that each child lives their life to the fullest.